Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes, or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. Welcome back to another episode of the Capes of Lunatics. It's me, Phil, and no, it's not an interview, but it's time for a, uh, a review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem, and I'm here, since Lil didn't want to do it, uh, with with someone who you haven't heard on this show in a long time, my son Luca. Like what, two, three years? I don't know. Maybe more. I don't know. Probably. So... So, what did you think of the movie? I know you said you liked it, but what's some of the stuff you liked? Mm, I liked really like, everything about it. Yeah? Like, who was your favorite turtle? Mm, I, mm, I don't really have half a favorite. All of them are good. Yeah? All of them? Yeah. Yep. So you don't have a favorite between all any of the four of them? No. No? Wow, you're... So, did you think it was long? Was it too long? Was it long enough? Was it not long enough? Mm, kind of. Kind, it's, kind, it's kind of long. Um, it's longer than I, I expected, but not as long as most movies. Yeah, you didn't think it was too, too long? No. It was an hour and 39 minutes. An hour and 39? Yep. Uh, okay, yeah. That's not that bad. So, did you think that was that was a good running time? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, what did you think about the rest of the characters? Did you like Splinter? Did you like uh, Superfly uh, yeah. as a villain? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the one thing I think is that they they had a bit too many characters. Well, oh, were there too many to keep track? Like, <laughs> like Superfly's guys? Yeah. Yeah, there are like eight guys. Oh yeah. Mm, not not even including the turtles. I know. So, were there too many you thought to keep track of? Yeah. 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 I don't know how 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 to explain this, but I'll explain it the best I can. It's that it, it's like you see one thing you you get in your mind when you see a, see a whole. Nothing, and you get those thoughts mixed. Like what? I don't know. I I couldn't really explain it. Yeah, but there were too many characters on that side. Yeah. Yeah, too much action going on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you were you would have wanted less characters. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, like if there was like like four sidekicks, that would be fun. Yeah, I was. What, for, uh, Superfly? Yeah, like, for the four. Yeah. So how many do you have? Well, let's see. He <laughs> had the Gator guy. He bought from Rocksteady, guy. the Gator. I will recount Gator. There's probably at least, what, six? Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Russell. Oh. Love the movie. Nearly went through the roof during the mid-credits scene. Oh, we even said it for the mid-credits scene. Uh, oh, yeah, we didn't. Because I had to, um... I had to bribe this young man with some uh, Red Robin to go see the movie. 
No, you really didn't. It, it was about turtles, so I know you. I would have liked it anyway. You like all things turtles. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. So what? The, what did you like about it, Russell? Mm. Oh, so far it's made fifty-one million dollars worldwide. In like two days. Mm, no, I think it started. I was gonna say Friday, but it might have started a day or two before. Let's so see, it started on Aug. Aug it started on August second. It's not August sixth. Oh, also four days. Yeah, but I think uh, I think that's pretty good, especially for an animated movie. Yeah. So, would you like to see a sequel if they do uh, if make another one? Yeah. 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 <laughs> but one thing I I would want to see is like a part two, maybe. I know, me too. Or like mm, maybe e even a part three if they do do a part two. Yeah. So. You know who's in a lot of classic uh, turtles I didn't see here? If they do a two, should they have like Shredder? Oh, uh, oh yeah. No. I feel like I feel like if I do do a part two, they should have like a, a, a like brand brand new villain from a different dimension. That's like like like, like Krang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if like Krang, what like, Krang like clones himself? Yeah. Sits open the <clears throat> fire, firefly, his sidekicks, the turtles, then <clears throat> splinter to like all team up to defeat the clones. Yeah. Or you could do Shredder and some ninjas in number two, and then maybe if you do a three, you could do Krang maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see some more ninjas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ninja fighting. So, did you like April? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Or, or, but what about, wait, a part two like this, like, but turtles have a fifth brother they don't know about, and they travel across the world to try and find them. Maybe, or I think in the comic books, like the newer ones, I think they, they've done like a fifth turtle and it's a girl, I think. When? Mm, some of the newer comics that we didn't read. Oh. So would you be down for a fifth turtle as a girl? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but... <coughs> like a sister? Yeah, but... <coughs> if there was a fifth one, what would her name be? Um, I forget what her name is. Is it, um... Is it Venus or something? I forget. It's something. Venus? Um... It's like the planet Venus? Hold on. Uh, it is Venus de Milo. Oh. Because the other ones are like Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, who are like painters. Oh. So. So I want to ask you this. Well, what did you like up about the movie? What did I like? I don't know. I like the story and uh, I don't know. I like the action. Did you like the action? Yeah. Mia. Yeah. 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 Did you like uh, the origin and everything? Because in some of the origins, Splinter used to be a human who got turned into a rat. Did you like that he was a rat who got turned into a mutant? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like the origin was a bit. How do I say this? Unusual. Why? Like, like goo that turns people in 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 the mutants. Uh huh. <laughs> But like it turned them and the baby turtles and and when a giant rat raised them. Yeah, well they were baby turtles and then the ooze changed them into mutants, baby mutants. The, uh yeah. Um, I feel like the origin should have been like, been, like they were b baby t turtles or whole life at at a. Catch up, but no one bought them. So they dumped them in 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 the sewer, and then and then the rat guy raised them. I'm trying to remember. I think uh, the in the original cartoon they were they were turtles being brought home from the pet shop, and they got dropped in the sewer with the ooze, and then Splinter finds them. So so. <clears throat> So, what I said happened in, in, in that show? I think so. We could watch that again, but 
So yeah, they changed up the origin a little bit. Oh, and then the people who did the voices. Yeah. Your favorite John Cena was in there. He was rock steady. Really? John Cena? Yeah, John Cena. And then Paul Rudd, who plays Ant-Man, was Mondo Gecko. Oh. So. <laughs> and of course, everyone listening to this, John Carlo Esposito was Baxter Stockman for all of two seconds. But everything. You want a successful franchise, get John Carlo Esposito in there. He's in everything. Star Wars and Breaking Bad, Bear Call Saul. I know, because you're all watching Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul. Yeah, because it's, yeah, because I have no idea what we are or what we're about. Oh. Yeah. So, as a turtle fan in general, not even Ninja Turtles, did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. So, it did, it did uh, credit to the name Turtle? Yeah. Yeah. So, do you watch it again? Yeah. So, when it comes out on Blu-ray, we should get it and you'll watch it again? Yeah. Is it one of those ones you'll watch over and over? Mm-hmm. Is it one you'll watch over and over? Um, probably like four or five times. That will get pretty, pretty boring because I know what's going to happen. Yeah, because I saw it last summer. You, was that last time you watched Space Jam over and over? Yeah, like three times a day. For like five weeks straight. Yeah, I know. Alright, but another one of your favorites. Do you think it's as good as uh, Spider-Verse? Is it better, not as good, or about the same as Spider-Verse? Because I think some people who like Spider-Verse might like this. Yeah, so, yeah, I would say that. Yeah, so, I was going to say, if you're a Turtles fan, but again, if you like into this, like, well, across the Spider-Verse or into the Spider-Verse, yeah, you'll like, I think you would like this movie. Mm-hmm. I would say it's about the same. Mm-hmm. And so, did the Turtles act like uh, typical teenagers, do you think? Mm, kind of. Yeah? I mean, they're, you're only ten, but they they act like you and your friends, didn't they? Bro, bro. Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> yep. Alright, so what else? you think of anything else interesting from this movie? No. No? Uh, an hour and a half? You can't think of anything else? Oh, uh, I do have a... Well, I do have a question for you and... Sure. You and... Who <laughs> ever sees, sees this video. Okay. So, if someone saw... Saw the saw the movie <laughs> and they liked it what other m- movies might they like like m- movies or shows like i said um spider verse probably like there's been other ninja turtle cartoons on tv so um i would say most things with action like i forget what they're called oh yeah like the m- Mission Impossible movies, the John Wick movies. Oh, you think if people like John Wick, they'll like this movie? Yeah, like John Wick, Mission Impossible. Yeah. Um, um like the Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk movies. Like. Oh yeah, they did. Things with action. Oh yes, in this movie they superheroes. they did ma- mention Avengers Endgame and they did mention Mark Ruffalo who plays Bruce Banner the Hulk in two. So. Oh, uh, 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 oh, yeah, I forgot we did. Oh, this is only rated PG, not PG-13. Huh. Mm-hmm. Because there weren't any bad words, and... Whoa. The violence wasn't... You literally mm-hmm. had bombs. You literally had bombs and fire, like, t- tearing apart New York City. Yeah, but they didn't show, like, people getting killed and stuff. Whoa! Oh yeah. Cause they want the kid. They know kids are gonna go see this. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, and let's see what else is. Uh, so did you think? Uh, so did Splinter learn his lesson about keeping the turtles uh, away from the human world? You can't yeah. judge. You can't judge all people by a whole group by a certain just a few people. Oh uh, yeah. Is that the oh. lesson that you don't judge a whole group by just a few people in it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like just don't judge a book by its cover. Yes, that's right. But no, uh, 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 but ah, uh, uh, but I do <laughs> judge a judge a book by its cover. Why? I don't know. I think you mean actual books, right? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, books. My people, books. Okay. Yeah, books. Uh, okay. All right. So, all right. Look, see, you didn't think you could do fifteen minutes. We get fifteen minutes. And, uh, it's, it, uh, you know, it's kind 
you know, it, it it's kind of funny as soon as you say that we hit it. We hit it. <laughs> exactly 15 minutes. I know. Alright, so, on the patented Luca Parrish Turtle scale, 1 to 10, what would you give this movie? Well, I really don't know. Because so he's gonna... almost as harsh a critic as Little Hellfire people, so. Yeah, I'm way more. He, he doesn't give out, like, uh, false, uh, you know, just, oh, I'm being nice. So, alright, so uh, 1 to 10, what do you give this? 10 being the best. Uh, I don't know, really, so I'm going to give a question mark out of 10. A question mark? <laughs> Why don't you know? Because it, because it's, it's just, I'll, I don't know how to say this. It was just. It's just your opinion. It was, that does like a lot. A lot? That, well, it was a lot to process. Yeah. Yeah. But probably, you, probably like an 8.5 or 9. 8.5 or 9? That's a good score. Yeah, so, and you didn't get bored with it. I know some movies you get bored with after a while. You didn't get bored with this, did you? I, well, well, well I got bored when I was like four, four minutes off, but, but that, that doesn't matter really. Yeah, did you like the fight at the end with the giant super fly? Yeah. Was that the best part? <laughs> yeah, but I don't get how, how being under far away from that ooze turned him into a giant. Because with the ooze underwater, like all the fish and all the sea life, like, like got, got like added to him. I feel like it should, it should have either turned turn him back, back, back to a human, or well, he was never a human. Have, oh, really? He was like a fly who got mutated. Oh. Well, well, and since I do into that, I don't have any more questions. So should we See, just answer? So he could have survived because if he got unmutated, he might have been a fly like that big. So I don't have any more. Oh, oops, sorry. Okay. So I don't have any more questions. So should we just end it here? Okay. Yeah. Uh. All right. So yes, eight point five or nine from this young fellow. How great with that? It was pretty good. Again, it's. A, it's a nice family movie. The kids will mostly won't get bored. There's enough oh, of the boy. parents they won't get bored. So yeah, so yeah, go out and see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutant Mayhem. And uh, if you want more content from Luca, uh, Totally Turtle, uh, find him on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. And I will put uh, links in the show notes. So show notes. Yeah, when the video or the episode goes up on the podcast, there's like there's like notes underneath it. I'll show you. I think that's called the did, 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 did it's under, description. It's under the description. <laughs> oh, for now, no. All right, so. All right, guys, kids, thanks thanks for joining us. And again, I don't know if we'll have anything between now and then, but next, the next movie we'll review will probably be me and Lilith reviewing Blue Beetle, so. Unless Luke wants to join us. I, I would like to. Okay, okay. Mm. You can join us. All right, so. All right, we're going to go because he's already inching out of the room. All right, kids. Yeah, bye. <laughs> See, the most difficult guest I've ever had. All right, everyone. Catch you next time. <laughs> bye. <laughs>